Welcome to the Investors Trading Academy Economic Calendar of the Week. Each week, our news analysts review the upcoming economic events that you should be monitoring. This week's focus will deal on the Federal Reserve decision due on Thursday afternoon. Most headlines will centre on comments about what to expect from the Fed. The Federal Reserve could raise rates this month for the first time since 2006, although it is still not certain. All other events and data take a back seat, even if they still carry a degree of weight, such as UK unemployment data. It would be foolhardy to predict what will happen to asset prices, since even no move could provoke volatility if the accompanying statement and press conference provide hints about future policy. On Sunday, the monthly batch of Chinese economic indicators are released, retail sales, production and investment. There are signs that Chinese economic activity is gaining pace and investors would want to see further confirmation of that trend. Expect annual retail sales growth near 10.6% with production near 6.3% and investment near 11.2%. The risk is that the results print on the weaker side of expectations, especially given that China closed down heavy manufacturers and restricted transport in Beijing due to the World Athletic Championships. We would expect activity levels to lift in the coming months. In the US, the week kicks off on Tuesday with retail sales figures, industrial production and the influential Empire State survey scheduled for release. Retail sales may have expanded by a good but not too great 0.4% in August, while the underlying non-auto measure may have lifted 0.3%. The pullback in the flash manufacturing index has economists expecting that industrial production may have eased by 0.2% in August after the 0.6% lift in July. On Wednesday, the key consumer inflation figures, the Consumer Price Index, is released alongside the NAHB Housing Market Index. The CPI for August should once again show that headline inflation is rather tame. In July, the Consumer Price Index rose 0.1% to be up just 0.2% over the year. Even stripping out food and energy prices, the core CPI rose by a tame 0.1% in July. Economists tipped the core CPI measure to fall by 0.1% in August to be up by one. 0.8% over the year. The US Central Bank Policy Making Group, the Federal Open Market Committee, meets over Wednesday and Thursday with the decision announced at 4 a.m. Sydney time on Friday morning. The guessing game as to when the Fed will lift rates may not be resolved. The probability of the meeting deciding the first interest rate rise in a decade is around 28%. However, the text of the decision will be important in determining whether the Fed is on course to lift rates in December. The FOMC's rate decision, policy statement and economic projections will be delivered after late on the day on Thursday, so the markets will be able to react until Friday. Chair Janet Yellen will also participate in her by meeting press conference following the conclusion of the meeting. Con-